So, remember that Ivan is S470 I traded for? Well... So, yeah, people were curious when I was talking about my winter project. Um, I did kind of share a sneak peek with uh, one person in particular, because, you know, I'm just cool with the person that way. So, at the end of the day, I, um, I looked at it and I said, you know, and that was the point of taking it on trade was person didn't like it, person wasn't keen on the looks of it, and I was like, as you know, as my dabbling with guitar refinishing and upgrading and modifying, I looked at it as an opportunity to, you know, take on a little project now. Initially, I had planned that it was only going to be about a month, and I had things come up, and decided that I uh, couldn't couldn't do what I wanted to do, which was originally I wanted to take it back to uh, clear, or sorry, take it back to the wood green. And unfortunately, yes, it was three pieces of uh, mahogany in the body. But the biggest problem was, of all was the simple fact that they were not a match. Not just necessarily grain-wise, but simply the fact the the actual tone of the mahogany did not match. So it would have went like light mahogany darker mahogany darker mahogany which would have looked absolutely stupid in a uh, clear finish so i had to abandon that idea and so what has been kind of my little kick lately for a color white so i decided well i'm gonna do white so Initially, I had bought salmon white wipe on uh, water based dye, and it didn't look too bad, but it had too much of a washed look instead of a solid look. So I went back to what my second thing I did to the body was, which was white. So I didn't exactly I screwed up the first original white finish went um, wipe on water whitewash dye which did not look at all great on the guitar and I finally went back to a gloss white with a gloss clear over the top and I kept with a similar theme of a relic because at this point in time there is no point in trying to actually um, recondition the front of the headstock on the neck because it simply had too many little chips and dings out of it. So why not keep it with the uh, relicking vibe and uh, so I finally come to you today with the things done to it and uh, I'll go over 
things uh, as I show the guitar. So, as you remember, the guitar was a frost metallic fuchsia purple color. Uh, the guitar also had uh, neon green uh, pickup surrounds. It also had neon green selector switch tip, neon green knobs, and the tremolo was actually missing the tremolo arm from the unit. So I actually took it upon myself and I went around and actually I sourced out a new tremolo arm from Ibanez Rules. If you're not familiar and you're looking for Ibanez stuff, that gentleman on the internet carries a crap load of Ibanez stuff and parts. So if you're able to, uh, looking for some Ibanez trims or, um, plastic pieces or whatnot that you can't find through a regular dealer I would go and I would suggest that you go to Ibanez rules and look at what he has for inventory and see if what you're looking for parts wise is there that said again as I said the headstock was as you can see up near the low E had a big chunk out of it so there's like no point in me trying to like fix that so as you see here I cleaned up the headstock I touched absolutely nothing on the neck this is all the original neck I did not refinish it or anything and course you can't see it that way but you can see s 470 and it is a this is an 03 s 470 so in turn it has the cool little wave inlay things so what I did when I finally put the guitar back together, I, uh, I've put a new set of Ernie Ball regular slinkies back on. I also took the fretboard and I used the uh, feed and wax to darken up the fretboard. And so again, here is the guitar. The pickups are the original pickups. As you see here, I have removed the center pickup because I am no longer utilizing it and it wasn't what I wanted in an Ibanez to begin with. Here is the original tremolo arm, which cost me 35 Canadian to get for the, replace the one that was missing. It's still missing the screws in the back but everything else, as you can see here, original uh, locking pins, original bridge, original pickups, the chrome mounting rings on around the pickups, that cost me $12, I think, off of eBay. Perfect fit, perfect match. And uh, what else can I say about the guitar? This plastic piece, if you're ever doing anything with regards to this plastic pickup selector switch, be very careful how tight you tighten the nuts around the screws that put this into place. Because you will do like me, and you'll give it one too tight of a twist in. Pop! Off it comes. Unfortunately, this was another $20 to replace from uh, Ibanez Rules. You can see further in where the middle pickup is, I have put the original ground back into place. I've also put 
silver shielding wire as well to kind of keep up with the silver theme. I got, I bought from Guitar Fetish these uh, cosmic black knobs. Uh, underneath the knobs, the actual two pots in here are two burns. Uh, burns 500k pots. The switch is a brand new switch. It is also a, so it's an Oakley heavy duty switch. It's three way now, not a five way switch like it was before. You can hear nice solid clicks. New Burns 500k pots, uh, new uh, CTS, or sorry, uh, a new 47 cap on the tone pot. The original input jack is there, is functional. And the back of the guitar itself, everything is original. You can see the see the the relicking around the edge. Uh, as well as I tried to relic and make wear spots and damage spots where things would be pretty obvious on a guitar like this. So like in this case, the bottom edge of the guitar from standing somewhere, um, the little bit of a wear mark from the input jack from trying to put the input jack into place up around the here because obviously if you're a shredder you might be up here playing notes so eventually you would maybe wear there flip the guitar back over and of course where on the bottom edges of course the with this being a white and a gloss it's gonna be hard to show the coloring off again more checking wear marks here trim plates the original back plates the original all the screws are the original and you can see here the, the damage and wear there, um, damage and wear around the heel. So I just tried to focus on common places where there would be light relicking and aging. And given the nature of this guitar being an 03, I would figure, you know, that's 17 years that this guitar has been around. So, I now have a Ibanez S470, now in a relic gloss white that I've finally put back into my uh, guitar stable. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and uh, again, hope everyone is well and safe. And uh, take care. Bye for now.